yesterday's uh, hangout. Um, and let's get started. So for DDM 189, we talked about history and a bunch of sad stories, but uh, hopefully nothing too depressing for you guys. Uh, I'm going to take you back to the glossary. Operation Desert Storm, Coalition, Withdrawing, Lipsoff, Cape Canaveral, Florida. And this is a picture of Cape Canaveral, Florida. This is a picture of lifts off. Of course, right here, too, the shuttle is about to lift off. Turns out to be tragedy, disintegrates, on reentry, prohibition. This is a picture uh, from the prohibition era. It's actually a comedy. It's, it's a joke. And the humor is, if you read it, lips that touch liquor, alcohol, shall not touch ours. But the joke is, if you look at the ladies, they're all ladies, and are they beautiful ladies? <laughs> no. No. So the joke is, the only way... I would touch your lips is if I first touch liquor. So this was kind of a joke uh, saying how stupid the law was. It was a very popular uh, uh, advertisement against prohibition in America. Uh, then we have takes effect, barring, repealed, facing, growing, Unrest. I'm going to ask everybody to mute your mics again, please. Please mute your mics. Make sure, yeah, you click on it so that it's gray. And we have the Shah. This is the Shah of Iran back in 1979. Flees into exile. Some people say exile with an S. Some people say exile with kind of a GZ pronunciation. So both are fine. Exile, exile. I think the correct pronunciation in the dictionaries is usually exile. I'm not even sure because once again we do say both. Fundamentalist, fundamentalist regime. This is a kind of a French pronunciation regime. Ayatollah. In this case we talked about the Ayatollah Khomeini and seized, seized. This might be uh, too old for some of you, but for me, I do remember this story. I remember all the stories except for, of course, Hello Dolly and Prohibition. That was before me. <laughs> so, any questions on DDM 189, the stories or the vocabulary? Any pronunciation questions? Go ahead. You know, Shen, you mentioned uh, exile and exile. Yes. So, but, but you know, what about uh, exit or exit? Oh, now that's a great question. That's why I think uh, exile is probably what the dictionary says because exit is also what the dictionary says. But in reality, some Americans do say exit, exit with an S. I would say exit is much more common, but some Americans do say exit, exit with an S. Some do say that. It is, I've heard it, okay? And the thing is, if a native English speaker says it, it's almost okay. Um, now, for you guys, once again, I do recommend exit and exile, but if you get confused, don't worry. Everybody's going to understand. Good question. No other questions for... Yes. Shane. Yes, Gustavo. Uh, is, uh, is the bad list lift off is usually used for a space shuttle or, or I can use for aeroplane? Mmm, okay, usually for spacecraft, okay? So not just the space shuttle, but a rocket, uh, a 
a rocket too. Um, but you know what? And for a plane, for an airplane, we always say take off. But I have heard some pilots say, we'll be lifting off in 10 minutes, meaning we'll be taking off in 10 minutes. So Gustavo, my answer is, Gustavo, for an airplane, always say take off. However, sometimes you might hear lift off. My recommendation, stay, stay with take off. But if you hear lift off, don't be confused, okay? Okay. Next question. Excellent. I'm going to go right to DM1. Oh, yes, go ahead, Andre. Uh, you said that, that you had asked your Iranian and Iraqi students to record proper names. And they never did. Oh, okay. It's pity. I know. So I don't know where my Iran... I have two or three. I think I have three students from Iran and none of them left me a recording. <laughs> so I, I, I don't know if they're going to watch this. Shane. I think Jenna from Iraq. Uh, Jenna from Iran. Oh, from no. Iraq, but yeah. they speak a, a different... well. In Iran, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's a little bit different. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, Hi, Shane. <laughs> how are you doing? How are you doing? Fine, thanks. Good. Let's see. How are you? How do you feel? How do you uh, feel? A little bit better, thank better? you. Oh. Yeah, my I used I used a, a salt water gargle, and I think I feel better. Thank you very much. A small gargling you as as um, quickly you will get. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Let me also say hi to Jazz Karan. Long time no see, Jazz. Hello, Shane. How are you doing, Jazz? I'm pretty good. Thank you so much. We missed your. What voice. happened to you? Oh, I've been very busy. No. So I'm trying to talk okay? like you. I, I, my voice just doesn't copy yours. <laughs> Forget the bar. You can't talk like me. <laughs> No. I'm gifted. <laughs> you are gifted, Jazz. <laughs> it's good to talk to you. Let me also say hi to Nizam. Hi, Nizam. Long time no see. <laughs> Nizam, I think, is there. He's busy. Everybody's busy. Okay. Uh, there's another question by Mikhail. Um, what does mean a suffix lead? For example, in this case, American lead. Uh, I did talk about this in the explanation video, Mikhail, but maybe it wasn't good enough. It just means America was the leader. So this is uh, the, the past participle form of leader, okay, as a verb, okay, to lead and then led, okay. Um, so who will lead? America will lead. It is an American-led expedition. So uh, if we go to um, like K2, uh, the, the, what is it, the Himalayas, uh, I don't know how to spell it, Himalayas, how do you spell Himalayas, ah, okay, uh, and we always say, uh, you know, John Smith led expedition, okay, actually that's not true, usually it's a, a Sherpa led <laughs> expedition. Uh, but we always use the, the guy who's paying for the climb. Um, so it's the leader, the leader. Uh, that's what it means. So American-led coalition, a group of countries, uh, and America was the leader. That's what it means to lead. Coach Shane led LME Society. Great. I like that, yeah. We have the LME community, Let's Master English community. Uh, I guess I am the leader. But you guys are building the community. There you go. Perfect example. Yashen, yeah, you're talking about uh, money uh, giver. In this America, case, definitely. Uh, yeah, in, in, you know, they invested the most money in this uh, uh, operation. Exactly. That's usually how it always is, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. The money talks. 
Yeah, the money talks and uh, the money uh, decides. That's right. Decides. Decides, That's... yeah. Great questions, everybody. I'm going to go to DDM191. DDM191 was, don't save, uh, about passwords. Um, are you safe? Are you safe? This is an idea of a password. Are you, big letter R, uh, capital U, dot, capital S, four, small letter F, E, but we can read it. Are you safe? And they talk about the worst passport, uh, passwords of 2014, and here's the list. And amazingly, a couple of our students have used these as passwords. Oh, my God, never do that. <laughs> Be careful. Don't choose. If this is your password somewhere, change it. Uh, it's not too difficult to change it. I highly recommend that you change it, okay? <laughs> okay. Um, and hold on a second. Let me make sure that... David, can you hear us? Um, David? There you go. Hi, David. Hi. How are you doing, David? Hi, fine. I'm the first here. No, you're, we've got 13 other people. <laughs> oh, that's good. Very yeah. good. We have I'm a, glad. We have a big group today. Very good. Good to have you, David. And once again, everybody, I'm going to remind you, please mute your microphone. Click on the microphone okay. to change it to gray. Uh, Santa has arrived, too. How are you doing, Santa? Okay, uh, so once again, if you have this as a password, please change it. It's not good. Now, let's go to the glossary. Protections revealed, compiled from, gathered, featured, stemmed from, primarily, I'm going to mute a couple of people here. Sorry, I, I muted some people. Um, I'm continuing here. Stem from primarily variations. The number one spot took the top spot takes QWERTY, QWERTY, respectively, suggests, choose, special letters, advise with a Z sound and various and those are the words and terms for DM 191 any questions about this anything I should say hi to Jalil Jalil entered welcome Jalil David will be back <laughs> You know, Shane, it, it would be nice if everybody would have the same password, you know, it would be nice. <laughs> Why do you think that would be good? That sounds like socialism. <laughs> no, so uh, we won't have any problems anymore, you know. No more secrets. No more secrets, yeah. Yeah, I, you know, I don't, I don't mind that. Um, uh, you know, people, of course, like their privacy, uh, but uh, maybe that's a good idea. <laughs> Sergey, let me ask you, does your wife know your passwords? The most, yeah, the most. Yeah, I, I have uh, several too, you know. Yeah. I have several too, and uh, yeah, it's not that bad. You, you can change your password uh, <laughs> every time. You can do it uh, uh, 20 or 100 times a day if you want. That's true, you can if you want. <laughs> Yeah. Isn't it funny? It's it's kind of ridiculous. Do, it, 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 yeah. do you know your wife's passwords? Yeah, actually uh, the only one uh, from her bank account. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, that's the thing. I mean, sometimes we need to know our yeah. husband or our wife's, you know, password uh if something happens. Um, we need to help them 
take care of their email or take care of their money. So, um, yeah, I, I think actually sharing your password with your husband or wife or mom or dad is actually a good idea. And I think lots of parents always want to know uh, their children's passwords so they can see what they're doing and planning online. <laughs> you, you know, Shane, uh, I have it much easier because uh, my wife uh, doesn't like uh, new technologies, you know. She doesn't uh, like it. So I'm, I'm running it on my own. Her account and my accounts, you know. Oh, that's great. That's convenient for you. <laughs> yeah, it's convenient. And, uh, I, I was, sometimes I, I don't like it because, uh, um, yeah, she, she seems uh, so helpless, you know. <laughs> Julia, you have a question. Go ahead. Yes. I would like to say that in my case, I know all passwords of my mom, but she doesn't know anything about me. So, so, so and the idea know, is the same because so you know of what like Sergei said. So you know all of your mom's passwords, but none, yes, uh, but she doesn't know any of yours. Yes, yes. <laughs> and the idea it's the same as Sergei told. She doesn't like any um, technology. Technologies, yeah. Yeah. And that's my that's So it's my easy to say it's always easy to say, good I just did it, okay? <laughs> just do it. <laughs> there you go. That's my dad too. My dad is anti technology. Santa has a message. I had a boss who was really, really scary and scary looking. And this one time he didn't come in and we all needed access to his computer. So we called him and asked for his password. And it turned out his password was Sweet Angel. <laughs> so you had a really tough, scary boss. Arr, arr. Boss, what's your password? Arr, my password? Arr. Sweet Angel. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yeah, I bet people have some pretty funny passwords. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Any other questions? Uh, yes. Uh, hi, Shane. Hi, Jalil. Go ahead. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Fine, thanks. Uh, Shane, uh, uh, can you give us your password? Sure. I'll write it down for you. My password is N zero oops oops N zero oh come on stupid thing N zero W four Y uh, Can you read that? Yeah. No way. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to give me, uh, David says, I always use the same password since I forget them. Yeah, David, you know, that's my problem too. I'm getting old and uh, it's hard for me to remember everything. So I, I think I have about three passwords that I use for like 20 different places. Uh, but it's always, it's this one or this one or that one. <laughs> it's confusing. You know, there's a software that's called LastPass uh, and it remembers all of your IDs and passwords. It remembers everything. Does anybody use that type of software? No. It's an app. I think it's an uh, app. Uh, I think so. I, I, I heard of it, but the uh, same uh, 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 I don't. I, I don't uh, trust it. It seems dangerous, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That's. I. I agree. I mean, uh, I don't want anybody to know. You know, some passwords. You know, my personal email or my bank account. That's really private. Yeah. So yeah, it's. Uh, I don't know, but it's like like we talk about though. It's difficult to remember all the passwords. 
I don't know. All right. That's it. I'm closing That's it up. It. Yes, go ahead. Okay. Oh, Gustavo, uh, let's have Gulia first and then Gustavo. Oh, no problem. Okay. Uh, as you know, I have a special, uh, a special password for my private, uh, private stuff. But if you see in the Google Plus community, there is two my accounts of Gulia Karimov, and the idea is I forgot one of the password of <laughs> of my first account, and I had to open another one. Oh <laughs> so there are two accounts. So that's why you have two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's the thing. Remembering passwords is no fun. Gustavo, what's your question? Yes. Uh, no. No question. Uh, I I have a good way to do uh, to do password secure password. Oh, okay. Uh, I was working uh, for military, and they gave me many ways for for doing password, secure password. Oh, so this is going to be uh, military secrets, how to make a good password. Good. Go for it. They, they told me, uh, password no, uh, no choose, choose the single word, uh, instead of sentence. Ah. I, I say yes. For example, uh, you can choose the center DDM, uh, the prefer. Didian Center. Uh, for example, being nervous. What? Being nervous. Being nervous. Being nervous. I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> being nervous. Uh, or but, uh, benevolent. Or benevolent. Nervous. Nervous or nervous. Ah, uh, spell it out. Can you spell it, Gustavo? Mm, yes, being. Ah, uh, be neighborly. Neighborly. Oh, okay. Gustavo, get your R. Hold on a second, Gustavo. We got to get pronunciation. Neighbor. Neighborly. Good. Neighborly. Not bore, burr. Like it, the pronunciation is actually er. Neighborly. Neighborly. Good. Okay. Being neighborly. Good. Okay. Uh, you can choose the the one letter, the one letter, for example, the letter E, uh, instead of writing the letter E, uh, you can write the number, the number, for example, the number one. Okay, or the number three. The number two. Okay. Oh, I like that. There every, you go. Every letter E instead of E, is the number three. Excellent. Yes. Much easier to remember. You can, you can learn, you can learn a different, different sentence of DDM and uh, the password secure password. Brilliant. I, I like it. That's what you got to do. Yeah, you got to be careful, everybody. My uh, password, my password is the sentence, DDM. So, so the actual, exactly. So, so, so the password is the sentence, DDM? Yes, it's one sentence. No, this is a sentence. Right, right, right. So, so exactly. So, it's, so choosing a sentence, it's easier to remember. It's long and safe, and if you just change one vowel to like the E to a three, it's very secure too. Yes. Yes. That's brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. I like You're that. Welcome. What's this D flat seventh flat fifth? What the heck is that? Coach Shane is the best zero zero zero. <laughs> yeah. No free lunch. Uh, okay, let's go to uh, DDM 190. Close this out. This is uh, back to Seinfeld. We're going to go to the glossary 190 and 192. This is all Seinfeld. I hope that you are enjoying Seinfeld. Big old George. 
Uh, what a. Now remember, what a movie. What a dinner. What a show. Now this expression needs emotion. So if you're watching a movie and it's a great movie, oh, what a movie. <gasps> what a movie. It's so wonderful. But if it's a terrible movie, you can use the same expression. But listen, <sighs> what a movie. Oh, what a movie. It means it's terrible. So we have to use expression, uh, emotion in this. Cinch, to cinch, to tie something tightly, concerned, flap. These flags are flapping in the breeze, in the breeze. Manipulation, I forgot to write a definition. To control something for, actually two, but I'll say for your advantage, for your gain. Outfit, the clothing that you wear, dressing up, come as you are, abomination, Mary, uh, the same pronunciation as the woman's name, Mary, uh, Mother Mary, and also to get married, Mary. I'll give him that, I'll give him that, plant, a tiff, great expression. To smooth things over, out of the blue, May West, going downtown, impacted molar, ooh, terrible. Using A as a springboard to B. Um, we studied this expression too. I, it's not important, so that's why I put it in a different color. Uh, 192. We'll go right to the glossary. Once again, Seinfeld, continuing Seinfeld. A peephole. Here's President Obama looking through a peephole, and he sees Kramer. <laughs> this is the fish eye. This is the fish eye. Uh, confession. Not just when you're guilty at court, but a secret. Super Bowl fever. Right now in America, many people have Super Bowl fever. Gloating over, rearranged, unwittingly, a major commitment, shouldering half the load, great expression. A major commitment is also great, a major commitment. If you get married, that's a major commitment. Shouldering half the load. Once you get married, your husband or your wife will take half the responsibility, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> That's shouldering half the load. Leave well enough alone. Very good expression. Taking over. Ain't. Horrible English, but we love it. We use it every day. Having me over. Scalping. Illegally selling tickets. Towing. And this is a, a picture of towing. Does anybody know what kind of a car this is? Bentley, that's right. That's a nice car. What is that, Santa? Santa, you know your cars. Yeah, very expensive car. Those are the terms, expressions in Seinfeld. Any questions? DDM 190, DDM 192. I prefer Ferrari. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Uh, you, you know, Shane, uh, did you really say about uh, Mary and Mary, the same pronunciation? Yes. So, we'll make a sentence here. But, but, but you know, uh, isn't it a short A sound? No, no, no. Uh, in, Ameri uh, in America, it's the same. Actually, we'll do this. There you go. Mary, Mary, will Mary? In American pronunciation, it's all the same pronunciation. So the idea is happy Mary will get married. That's, that's the question. But the, you could actually say this. Mary, Mary, will Mary? Now, some Americans will say 
Uh, you know, it's Mary and Mary. Uh, they will make a distinction between these two. However, if you watch TV, if you listen to songs, if you listen to movies, if you listen to these words, they all sound the same. There's no difference. Um, some Americans will argue there is, and some parts of America might have a different pronunciation. Just like, remember this word? We had B-U-R-Y and B-E-R-R-Y, okay? Most Americans say berry and berry. Some Americans do say brewery and berry. Some Americans say Mary and Mary, but most say them the same. Most of them say them the same. Yeah, and actually the name is Barry. Uh, is Barry a proper name? Yes, Barry is a proper name. So, uh, yeah, Barry. Actually, Barama, uh, Barack Obama's nickname is Barry. Barry Obama. Barry. Okay, David and Jazz have questions. Great. Uh, are they? Did you guys type them? Ah. Uh, Shane, could you explain to me ain't? Ah, okay. So ain't is such a, uh, a horrible, excellent word. Uh, and we use it in so many cases. I ain't got no money. Uh, he ain't here. Um, I ain't busy. Uh... We ain't got none. This, this is typical sentences uh, with ain't. Uh, ain't usually does go with no or a negative. Uh, but anyway, uh, to, to uh, write it out, I don't have any money. Same thing. Uh, he isn't here. Same thing. I'm not busy. Same thing. Uh, we don't have any. Same thing. Uh, we ain't going. Uh, we aren't going. It's the same thing. Now, my recommendation for all of you, don't use it. Don't use the word. It's uh, In school, they, the teachers tell us it's uneducated English. You know, it's country grammar. Um, and I agree. Personally, I use it sometimes only when I want to emphasize or when I want to be funny. Okay, so if I want to be funny or if I want to make an uh, uh, emphasis, I use ain't. Uh, but if you hear it, it's just the be verb plus not. Be plus not. Do not is, the, uh, is possible too. Here's the be verb plus not, be verb plus not, be verb plus not. Uh, and also don't. It's just a simple negative. I hope that makes sense. Does that answer your question, David? Okay. Uh, yes. I think I have it clear, but um, some of the times when they, when a nat native speaker is talking, uh, using that ain't, I can, I just can configure the, the sentence because I, for me, the right is like you say, we don't have any any or something, you know, um, then they change and they say ain't, and for me to have a hang of that is hard when you meet someone in the, in the sidewalk or yeah. because you want to talk about something in the street, you know, and, and it's very useful in that case, and also when you are trying to talk with a co-worker because, uh, you know, in the, in the, casual interactions is very useful, but sometimes for me, I just miss everything, all the ideas, because when they start to use this phrase, uh, yeah. and it's not my fault, it's just because I know sometimes they can use it, but I cannot stop the people saying, okay, that is not proper English, don't use this, please, talk to me, and proper English, please say don't, or something, because I'm not understanding, I can't stop people 
uh, when it's a meeting or when it's something, people start talking. And I want to listen this uh, and have a, like uh, a feeling for it. Percent. Yes. Yeah. So I think David, the be the best thing to do is when you hear "ain't," just think "no." Man, he ain't never been here. I ain't never seen him. No, no, no. He never been here. He's he's. I've never seen him. Uh, it's it's a negative. So it, the problem, and also uh, watch their expression. If you see their expression, I, I would like to show you my camera, but my camera's not working right now. Um, but yeah, David, I, I know exactly what you mean. It's a very casual expression, and Americans they'll use it really quickly. Um, uh, David, mm, you're in a unique position because you you live in New York City, right? Yep. So you're actually gonna hear this a lot, and I'm guessing, David. After a couple more months, it's going to get easy for you. However, if you can, do you use the word ain't? Are you using it? No, I'm not using that word because I, I don't know how to use it. Right. I'm asking to you because I just, just like uh, three couples uh, in the past, you know, I just was start to hear that word that I never heard that word before. I just starting to hear that word, uh, and I can configure uh, some of the sentence when they use the word. Uh, I very, uh, I listen in the in the sh in the shadow, like yeah. oh I'm listening to something. Uh, oh, uh, but what they are talking? You know, you work in a restaurant. Sometimes you listen yeah. things, uh, or when you are near and in, in the grocery store just buying something and the people are talking about something and you don't know what is it because they are using that word that's the, the that's the things that I wonder when that kind of situation or maybe when people uh, that are and is not your circle but they are talking about something is very useful and you have, and you want to know what is the this people talking about yeah yeah that's yeah. why I, I i is is yes is i think it's very slang but uh it doesn't mean that i don't have i i don't have to learn and understand uh because i may feel more natural by listening to that things even if i'm not using that things but i want to uh, listen the thing is sometimes I don't just don't understand yeah that's that's great David that you're in a really excellent lucky position um, and David once again uh, just remember every time you hear the ain't it means no it means not it means don't okay and I think that's gonna help you and David this is really exciting because the same thing happened to me when I was learning Korean um, you know Suddenly, one day, I hear this new word, and I'm like, oh, my God, they use this word all the time. I never heard it before, and now I can hear it. So that means your ears are opening up to this, and it's, a, it's, a, it's exciting but frustrating. Um, so I'll bet, David, after a couple more weeks, if you concentrate, you'll get it. Uh, oh, that's good. That's, good. That's, a, that's what I want to listen there you That's go. what I want to listen. Thank you for for encouraging me, uh, yeah. Shane. Uh, because I just uh, it's it's exactly like you're saying. I just start to hear him uh, some days ago. It's yeah. Not, oh, that's great. Not, that's exciting. That I, uh, you, you, you know, Shane and David. Yeah. I'm 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 gonna add something uh, to this situation. You, you know, uh, if I meet somebody in the street, uh, the first thing I wanna know. Or I should know, is he or is she gonna kill me? You know, <laughs> the first thing, yeah. And it's not about uh, you know. Um, I should think about uh, yeah, ain't and uh, because uh, that person is not gonna say uh, I ain't gonna kill you. You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sergey. Sure. Sure. Sergey, but so, remember, uh, Sergey. So I, 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 I don't think it's uh, the most important thing uh, hearing uh, I ain't or we ain't, whatever, you know. No, it's I, I... important if you meet somebody in the street. 
and they, yeah, I, you know, Sergey, of course, uh, if you see somebody in the street, the first thing we need to understand, do they want to kill me? Yes. <laughs> but if they don't yeah. want to kill you, then we can go ahead and listen to Ain't. <laughs> okay. okay. There, there's another question from Jazz. Jazz said, uh, Shane, you said the clothing we wear is called an outfit. I was wondering if you could tell me uh, the clothing that we don't wear is called an infit. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> no. That's a silly question. <laughs> no, there's no such thing as an infit. Um, long live Seinfeld, yeah. You know, yeah, Seinfeld, you know, that's true. Miguel, I'm looking at Miguel's words. Seinfeld really gives us an opportunity to look at daily English as close as possible to the street. Uh, somebody like David, who lives in New York, he actually can be in the streets and hear uh, the daily English. Um, and most of us can't. We don't live in America. We don't live in New York City. Uh, but Seinfeld is really close, um, and uh, I'm glad that everybody is liking uh, this this program. Oh, Jaskaran wasn't joking. Oh, I'm sorry, Jazz. I thought you were joking. No, Alex. Let me talk about this for a second. Outfit. Outfit is the clothes you wear, but the clothes go together. Okay. So, for example, right now, oh, I'm not, I can't show you. I don't have a camera. Um, right now, I'm wearing a gray T-shirt and gray sweatpants. But I didn't think about that. I just put them on. However, if I go to a company, if I go to work, I need to wear a suit. I need to wear a proper shirt. And I need to wear a tie. And those colors need to go together. So that's an outfit. Women always wear outfits. They think about their purse and their shoes and their dress. That's an outfit. Okay, so especially if you think about your clothes and the colors together, that's an outfit. Okay, now in my case, I hate outfits. <laughs> I just like sweatpants and blue jeans and a t shirt. So in that case, my clothes are come as you are. We don't say in fit. Um, there is no out opposite of outfit. It's just outfit. The opposite would be regular clothes. Regular clothes, okay? Premeditated clothing ensemble. Thank you, Santa. <laughs> Any other questions? Otherwise, we're going to go... Okay, uh, Miguel has a question. I thought come as you are meant naked. Yeah, it's possible. Come as you are could be naked, but mm, yeah, it, it could be. Yes, it could be. It could be. Not always, though. Okay? So if I'm talking to, let's say my friend calls me, hey, Shane, uh, want to come to dinner with us? And I'm like, oh, man, I'm sorry, Mark. I just uh, finished playing baseball. Oh, it's okay. We're, we're going to McDonald's. Come as you are. My friend does not want me to come naked. <laughs> um, he wants me just to wear my regular clothes. Okay? Could infit be a joke? Yeah. Um, let's say you go to the supermarket and you see somebody and it looks like they're wearing pajamas, sleeping clothes. You could say, hey, man. That's not an outfit. That's an infit. You should be wearing that inside the house. So maybe that would be kind of funny. Or maybe they're wearing clothes that look like underwear. And you could say, that looks like an infit, not an outfit. Something you should wear inside, not outside. It could be a joke. <laughs> all right. All right. Good questions. Good questions. We're about ready for role play. <laughs> Everybody's teasing each other. Be nice. Be nice. Okay. Let's go ahead and go into role play. Uh, we'll get everybody involved. George and Bonnie. I'm going to 
Actually, I'm going to close everything first. Shane, you know, can you please start this time uh, with me? Because uh, I have to explain my son about uh, parabola, you know. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, you're teaching your son yeah. uh, math right now. Yeah, you know, parabola is uh, some kind of, gra not some kind of, it's a graph of quadratic equation and it's uh, looking nice, you know. Oh, Sergey, you're great. Sergey, can you be George? Yeah. And Thank you. Let me, Thank you, Shane. Yeah. And let me pick uh, Julia. Can you be Bonnie? Oops, sorry, wrong screen. Hold on a second. So we're going to have uh, Sergey be George and Julia be Bonnie for this first one. Go for it, guys. Yeah. What a movie. Good choice. Thanks, Scott. He, he recommended it. Oh, Scott, Scott, Scott. He's really great, isn't it? He, yes, he is. Yes, he is. Let me ask you something. When you come out of a shower and you put your robe on, do you see it real tight? Are you concerned about it? George. You hold the neck together with one hand or are you just letting it flat in a breeze? George, you are being ridiculous. <laughs> mm. What's the massage situation? What do you mean? Is there any work being done? Is there any rubbing, touching, finger manipulation on the other person? And if so, who is making the request? Regardless, who is making the request? George, would you just stop? <laughs> say you go to a bathroom, say you go to the bathroom at 2 o'clock in the morning. What's the outfit? I mean, are you you dressing up or is it uh, calm as you are? George, what is wrong, uh, wrong with you? I'll tell you what's wrong. A grown woman with a male woman. It's unnatural. It's an abomination. Hey! Hey! How you doing? I'm good. Are you going to need the bathroom? Because I'm going to jump in the shower. No, just throw my breath out of the way. <laughs> All right. Great job, everybody. Let me go back here. Let me get uh, Julia. <laughs> recommended. He recommended it. He, he recommended it. Very good. Julia, you have to be smile. Thanks, Scott. He recommended it. Thanks, Scott. He recommended it. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Smile, Julia. You like Scott. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. There you go. Much better. Sergey, this word. Okay. Uh, which one? Situation. Okay. Ah, you, you, you know, can you... Uh, okay. What's the massage situation? Yes, I want a little bit more chew here. Massage situation. Situation, not uh, situation. Situation. Yes, sit chew, chew, sit chew, sit chew, Yeah. What? What a bad situation. Perfect. Me. Julia, this word. Uh, stop! Stop! Yeah. Stop! Yeah. Stop, that's would right. Just stop. Would you just stop? Would you would you just stop? Very good. Sergey, you said women. What's the singular? Women. Singular. Yeah, okay. Uh, women. Woman. Woman. Okay, I, I say, ah, uh, okay. Woman. It's the, yeah. the other sort of... Uh, Okay, I said human, but uh, I should have said uh, woman. Perfect, exactly, that's right. 
And uh, Julia, bras. Bras. There you go. And be careful with the brr. I get the ah. Bras. Bra bras. Perfect. There you go. Great job. Great job, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Shane. You bet, Sergey. Have a great time with your son. Yeah, and uh, you, you know, m maybe this evening here, yeah, I see you again. Oh, that's great. Very good. I'll see you, Sergey. Yeah, bye-bye. All right. Um, let's go to the next one here. Let's have Miguel be Tim and Jaskaran, you are Elaine. Mm -hmm. Miguel, your microphone is off. Oh, Miguel might be busy. Tim is afraid of Elaine. I think so. I think so. Everybody's afraid of Elaine. Sorry, it wasn't so way. All right. Miguel, Tim, and Jaskaran, Elaine. Go for it, guys. Okay, okay. Well, uh, this is my building. Yes, it is. It was fun, you know? Yeah. So, uh, I guess um, I'll talk to you. Aren't you going to invite me upstairs? <laughs> upstairs? You want to go upstairs? I would love to go upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Elaine, you are something else. No one could ever put a label on you. We'll huh? see. <laughs> oh, God, that was disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Man. That wasn't much, eh? <laughs> Excellent job, you guys. That was really scary. <laughs> that was scary, come on. <laughs> Wow. Um, yeah, I'm not going to touch it. Very good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everybody. Boy, Miguel Jaskaran, I never knew. <laughs> That's perfect. No, I'm serious. You guys did great. Uh, intonation, pronunciation, flow, everything was really good. Thank you. Let's go to the next group of uh, people. Jalil. You are Jerry. Gustavo, you are George. Julia, you are Elaine. And is there a Kramer? No. That'll take us right to the end. So let's go for it, guys. Good luck. Newman is going with Newman. I'll just think what the even even now new man? New man's his mailman. Who goes to the Super Bowl with a mailman? Who goes anywhere with new man? <laughs> well, it's Mary. He's Mary. I gave him back. What's this plan for? Oh. I had a little tip with Bunny about the roommate. Ah, well, the cactus will smooth things over. Hey, guess what? I'm going to the Super Bowl with Tim Watley. <laughs> we went out for coffee last night and he offered me a ticket. Well, what about the label maker? Oh, well... Wait a minute, that's my ticket. It was totally out of blue. We went upstairs to his apartment, you know, to look for the labor maker. So how did you get up there? Uh, did you say you had to use the bathroom? No. Then how did you get up there? I said, do you wanna go up do you wanna go upstairs? And there's your ticket. What? That's why you're going to the Super Bowl. Why? You go with the guy one time to ask him to go upstairs like you may well. Of course, he's going to try and get you alone for the weekend. You mean 
Just because I ask him to go upstairs, he, he thinks he's going downtown? Obviously. You're crazy. Gustavo? Yeah. yeah, well, what happened when you got upstairs? Well, as soon as he walked in, he got a call from one of his patients with the with an impact molar or something to or something or something so he had to leave. I didn't even get the chance to look for the label maker. Yeah, well I don't trust this this guy. I think he resisted and then he resisted. And now he's using an upstairs and invite a springboard to a super bowl. Great job. Very good, you guys. That was really good. And uh, it's pretty long. You did very good. Now, uh, Jalil. Jalil, where do you live? Uh, I live here in Algeria. Algeria. Jalil, I need, does the, I need you to have more emotion, okay? Yeah. <laughs> so, in this question, who goes anywhere with no men? Who goes anywhere with Newman? There you go. D now, this is Jerry. Does Jerry like Newman? No. Uh, no. He, he doesn't like Newman. So you, so you have to think about you don't like Newman. So one more time. Who goes anywhere with Newman? Who goes anywhere with Newman? There you go. That was really good. Great job. And this one, too. You didn't even want to go. You didn't even, you didn't even want to go. Okay, good. So this is a tough sentence, actually. Now, this is proper English pronunciation. You didn't even want to go. But nobody says that. So it's you didn't even uh wanna go and then if we say it faster it's you didn't even wanna go so this n first of all kills the t and it kills the t in these two places and then it can also kill the d here so a lot of americans will say you didn't even wanna go you didn't even wanna go there you go that was good so let's go back here Wait a minute, that's my ticket. You didn't even want to go. Wait a minute, that's my ticket. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't even want to go. There you go. Good job, Jalil. Good job. This next one, get that O sound, Gulia. It was totally. It was totally, totally. There you go, yes, totally. Mm -hmm. It was totally out of the blue. Very good. And out of, if we say that fast, how do we say it? Ada. Ada, that's right, Ada. It was totally out of the blue. It was totally out of the blue. <laughs> it was totally out of the blue. Very good, very good. One more time. It was totally out of the blue. It was totally out of the blue. Out of the blue. Out of the blue. Out of the blue. <laughs> This is really, oh, this is really tough. Try and keep the TH out of the. Out of the blue. Good. It's just totally out of the blue. But if you say it slowly, <laughs> that's not okay, correct. Okay, I'll try. <laughs> Gotta say it fast. Okay. It's just totally out of the blue. There you go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh. Uh, I'm looking at the chat room here. Yeah, David, once again, everybody, David lives in New York. He hears it, and he's agreeing this, this is the real pronunciation. It really is. Um, and like I told everybody, like I always tell you, when you guys are speaking English, I hope you speak clearly. You didn't even want to go. That's absolutely fine. That's perfect. Um, however, do not expect an American to say that. This is probably what the American is going to say. So I do want you to practice this pronunciation not for speaking purposes but for listening. That's why our philosophy 
if you can say it, you can hear it, okay? And that goes for you didn't even want to go. It also goes for totally out of the blue. It was totally out of the blue. It's really fast, um, but it's really important. Uh, let's go down to Gustavo. More of an app. What happened when you got upstairs? What happened when you got upstairs? Got upstairs. Got upstairs. Good. Give me, give me more up and more s. Got upstairs. Got upstairs. Got up. Got up. Got, got up. Stair. Good. Stairs. Stairs. What happened when you got upstairs? What happened? Happened. 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 Not happened. 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 <laughs> <laughs> sounds good. What happened when you got upstairs? What happened when you got upstairs? S upstairs. Stairs. Upstairs. Yes. One more time, sir. <laughs> what happened when you got got upstairs? Much better. Much better. And what happened to Elaine? <laughs> oh, Elaine's back. All right. We'll let Elaine get set up here. All right, Gulia, are you ready? Yes, I have a problem with, uh, with the voice. That's why. Okay. I rejoined. Uh huh. Very good. Let's do this next one here. As soon as we walked in. As soon as we walked in. Good. More W. As soon as we walked in. As soon as we walked in. Great job. W walked in. Yes, mm -hmm. that's right. We walked. We walked in. We, as soon as we walked in. Very good. And let me go to Jalil again. Jalil, your pronunciation is very nice. I'm going to get you on intonation again. So let's go to this first sentence here. Yeah, well, I don't trust this guy. Yeah, well, I don't trust this guy. I think he re-gifted. I think he re-gifted. And then he de-gifted. And then he de-gifted. Exactly. So I want all that one more time, Jalil. Yeah, well, I don't trust this guy. I think he re-gifted. Then he, and then he de-gifted. Even more. I think he re-gifted and then he de-gifted. I think he re-gifted. Then he de-gifted. There you go. Good job, Jalil. Jalil, how old are you? Uh, I'm 27. Uh, seven. 27. You sound like a young boy. <laughs> <laughs> You're not, though. You're 27, right? Yeah. You're a young man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Very good. Your pronunciation is really good, Jalil. Thank you, sir. Let me go to a uh, next group of people. Now we got Kramer joining the party. Uh, let's have Gustavo. I'm going to have Gustavo join us again, too. Uh, Gustavo, just for a short one, Newman. <laughs> and edit, I want you to be Jerry. And David, you are Kramer. Go for it, guys. Make sure your microphone's on. My microphone's on. There you go. Kramer. Kramer. Yeah, go ahead. Start with, hey. Ah, uh, hey. It's me. Hey, what are you doing? I've been watching your door. My door? Yeah. From my people. Fish eyes. She's all. <laughs> what was that? New man. Open, open it. Damn. <laughs> the bathroom. Get him. Oh, the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, get him. I see you, new man. I see you. I'm talking the. Uh, I'm talking the Congo as a penalty. Take it. <laughs> Take it good. I'm taking the Congo as a penalty. Yes, 
That's right. <laughs> Very good. And edit, you got it. Is it bedroom yes. or bathroom? Be bedroom. Yes, it was I'm bedroom. Taking, taking. Very good. Edit, give, I'm going to give you a sentence. I want you to practice. Be the bathroom is the bedroom. Try this, edit. The bathroom is in the bedroom. Good. Uh, everybody, please mute your mm. microphone. Um, please mute your microphone for the quality. Let me hear edit again. One more time, edit. The bathroom is in the bedroom. Oh, that was good. But be careful, bedroom. 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 Good. The bathroom is in the bedroom. The bathroom is in the bedroom. 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 The bathroom is in the bedroom. The bathroom is in the bedroom. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. That was too easy. I'm going to have you guys do it again. Uh, edit, you're Elaine. David, you're Tim. Okay. Let's hold on a second. Let me go to the next page here. Go for it, guys. I've got a confession to make. I'm Tim. Yes. yes. Oh, what's that? I've got Super Bowl fever. Oh, yeah. Me too. So, where are we staying? Oh, the ambassador. Big room? It's a regular room, but it's right downtown. Downtown? <laughs> right downtown. <laughs> what do they have there? A couple of beds? <laughs> what? You bring in someone else? <laughs> no, but you don't think there, are, there should be two beds? There's two of us. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Oh, uh, boy, you guys, everybody's got the romantic acting down perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go here. Um, uh, first of all, intonation for edit. Edit, you, you have a secret, uh, but you want to tell somebody the secret. So this energy is inside you. So you say, I've got a confession to make. I've got a confession to make. Good. You're smiling at it. Smile. I've got a confession to make. I've got a confession to make. There you go. There you go. And David, is it the ambassador or the ambassador? Uh, or David, I say the ambassador. Yes, that be the. We should say the. We should say I, the. Yes. I know. I don't know what I say. You said I, the. I think I said, I the ambassador. Yes. Oh, and maybe it's the, that, I don't know, what is it, Shane? I'm confusing. The ambassador. The ambassador. Okay. The Got ambassador. it? Got it, yes. Very good. And let's go back to edit. Edit. Be a little bit more like your mother. There's two of us. There's two of us. No, I want you to, this is the key word. There's two of us. There's two of us. 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 Good, There's that's right. Us. There's two of us. There's two of us. That's right, there you go. And then, because of that, Tim's grin disappears. <laughs> okay, let me go to the next group. We've got Andre and Alex. Oh, I'm going to give you guys this down here. Uh, so let's see. Andre will be Jerry. Alex will be George. Gustavo, I'm bringing you back again as Newman. And who else had a short one? Did anybody else have a short one? I think everybody was okay. Who wants to be Kramer? Who? Jaskaran is Kramer. Me. All right, good. Uh, so let, let's go for it, guys. So she kicked him out of the so she kicked him out of the apartment. That's right. It's just me and girl. Wow, she rearranged her whole life for you. Yeah, I guess she did. He's gone. Now I'm the man. 
That's not a good role for you. <laughs> no, it's not. You unwittingly made a major commitment. That's a lot of pressure. Oh my God. <laughs> you wanted to be ensconced in velvet. You are buried. I had a perfect situation here. He was shouldering half the lot. He was shouldering. I couldn't live well enough alone. <laughs> Where are you going? I got to go help her tape up. Cochina, I can see. It'll catch. I got to go help her tape up up all his boxes and get them ready for shipping. That was terrible! <laughs> oh, well here. Take what this label maker. I don't want to see him it again. Thanks. Yeah, I'm taking over South America and there ain't nothing you can do about it. <laughs> so, too bad about the Super Bowl ticket. Yeah, Newman? Yeah. I just hope Tim Wadley electricity bill to suddenly get lost in the mail. Or it could be likes out of him. <laughs> Thanks for having me over, guys. Oh, great job, everybody. Alex, I was teasing you. Everybody did great. Everybody did great. Let me go back here. Jerry's line, is it the apartment or the apartment? The apartment. Yeah, make it strong. So try this again. So she kicked him out of the apartment. So she kicked him out of the apartment. Out of the, out of the apartment. Out of the apartment. Good. I know it's a little bit tough. One more time. So she kicked him out of the apartment. So she kicked him out of the apartment. The. The. So <laughs> she kicked him out of the apartment. Good. Very good. Very good. And. Alex, you're very happy. It's just me and her. It's just me and her. <laughs> perfect, perfect. What's Alex, what's the proper grammar? Is this proper? No, I didn't know. It's it just should, It should be this, her and I. Do you understand that rule? There's a rule in grammar. We should never have me first. It should always be the other person first. Okay. Okay. I I want to say I I want to say that, but I um I was uh, I confused in this situation because I know when I um, when I say something, my friend and I, my right. mother and I. Yes. And in this situation, me and her, it sounds good. Me and her. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> it does, it does. George does a good job. And the reason is, the reason it sounds good is because George puts lots of emphasis on me. <laughs> yeah. It's just me and her. It's just me and her. There you go. Is this you and Gulia or is it Gulia and you? <laughs> uh, it's provocation, I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm teasing. We go to Andre. Be careful with these R's. She rearranged her whole life for you. She rearranged her whole life for you. Excellent job, excellent job. Now, Andre, you're a single guy, right? Damn single. Damn single. <laughs> so, if you meet the damn perfect woman, would you rearrange your whole life for her? Yes, I do. Oh, what a nice guy. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. Keep your life your way. <laughs> okay. Okay, now this one, back to Alex. He's gone. Now, now I'm the man, so we're comparing he and I. So I needs to be stressed more. So try this sentence again, Alex. 
he's gone. Now I am the man. There you go. That was perfect. That's perfect. Andre, were you intentionally using buried? No, I'm I'm confused about this pronunciation. It is confusing. Yes. So what you said you said buried, which is not uh, wrong, but most Americans will say buried. Okay. Buried. Buried. Yes. Okay. So once again, you're not wrong. However, uh, I think if you went to America and said buried, somebody might correct you. But actually, you're not wrong. You're okay. Buried. Okay. Exactly. Uh, Alex, no L. Don't worry about the L. Half the load. Half the load. He was shouldering half the load. She was shouldering half the load. He. He. You're thinking about your wife. <laughs> he was shouldering, uh, she was shouldering half the load. Great job. Won't. Now this one I want you to put things together. I got to go. I got to go. Good job. I got to go help her. I got to go help her. Tape up all his boxes. Tape, tape, up all, tape up all his boxes. And get them ready. And get them ready. For shipping. For shipping. Good job. Let's do it one more time. I got to go help her tape up all his boxes and get them ready for shipping. Excellent job. Much, much better. Much better. And let me go back to this one. I don't want to see it again. I don't want to see it again. Perfect. That was perfect. I don't know what the problem was before. Let me go to Gustavo. Gustavo, yes. that S sound, that final S. I just hope... Let's start here. I just hope... I just hope... Tim Watley's electric bills... Tim Watley's electric bills... Electric bills... Electric bills... Good. Don't suddenly get lost in the mail. Don't suddenly get lost... In, in the, the mail. mail. In the or it could be, or it could be, lights out for him. Lights out for him. Excellent job. Much, much better. Try it one more time, please. Yeah, I just hope Tim Wadley's electricity bills don't suddenly get lost in the mail, or it could be lights out for him. No, no, no. So, once again, um, it could be, I'm going to put this in groups here. We're going to get rid of this. We don't need this one. So listen again. One more time. And say it with me, please. I just hope. I just hope. Tim Watley's electric bills. Tim Watley's electric bills. Don't suddenly get lost in the mail. Don't suddenly get lost in the mail. Or it could be. Or it could be. Lights out. Lights out. For him. For him. Go for it. I just hope think what the electricity bills don't suddenly get lost in the mail or it could be less out for him. Excellent job. Now you keep saying Tim Watley without the S and you keep saying electricity but there's no electricity. So Gustavo, I have a request. Please practice this sentence as homework and when and and bring it back uh, the next live session and I want to hear you say that sentence again, okay? Okay, okay. I practice. Oh good, I'm excited. I, I, I know you'll get it perfectly um, and bring it back uh, when we meet again in two weeks, okay? Okay. Excellent. Uh, Miguel, the first time I thought Newman was saying pills. Ah, yeah, electric bills, electric bills, yep. Uh, this is a co-location, Newman as a postman, as a mail delivery guy, and Bill, that's, that's the grouping, yeah. But it could be confusing. Electric pills, electric bills, yeah, it could be confusing. Great job, everybody. Any questions about anything?
There is two of us. I know it's um, um, it's common spoken English, but when we want to be perfect, there are two of us. Absolutely. This is such a horrible common mistake, but yes, there are two of us is correct. Because I don't want to sound uneducated. No, I, absolutely. I, I highly recommend you say there are two of us. Yeah. I recommend that. Okay? All right. Because this, this sounds really silly mistake. This right here? Yeah. Yeah, but you know what? Um, People say it. It, it. Everybody says it. In DDM yeah. 193, we have this mistake. Uh, yeah. If you remember, if you, I don't know if you did DDM 193, but the same yeah. thing. Uh, Jerry makes it all the time. Everybody makes that mistake. Yeah. And one more. Yes. Uh, could you please scroll it down for me? Yeah. I forgot what was that. Yeah. Yeah, half. There is that. I got it. Yeah, yeah. He was sh uh, shouldering half the load. Uh, is it uh, half of the load? Or? Ah, interesting. Well, it's an expression. So first of all, we say this together as an expression itself, idiomatically. Um, grammatically, half of the load would be correct, but we don't use it many times. Uh, but you can add it. Yes. Oh, those are those really tricky grammar questions. That's a good good question, Jessica. I'm just going to clean up maybe. Yeah. Let me, uh, uh, David, you had a question about unwittingly, correct? I, I, hold on. Yeah, Let, because. Go ahead. Go ahead, David. I was reading that word like unwittingly, mm, unwitt yeah. unwittingly, but I don't. I just is confused the pronunciation for me. Yeah, and it is. First, uh, first time I saw the word unwittingly, then it's unwittingly. Yep, it comes from the word wit, and wit means usually it means humor. Okay, um, witty would be funny. Okay. Um, but unwittingly is a completely different meaning. Um, the, the roots are the same. Unwittingly, we usually say unknowingly. Unknowingly. Uh, so that's what the meaning is. The root is here, but the meaning is completely different. Okay, completely different. And to be honest, David, uh, unknowingly is more common than unwittingly. But once again, the pronunciation, wit, winning, Wittingly, unwittingly, unwittingly. I think he used the, um, the, the this character used the, used this word to make the conversation uh, more interesting, like more um, sophisticated. Exactly, that's exactly right. Um, and Jerry loves to play with the English language. So you're exactly right. Especially Jerry and George, they love to use big words to sound more sophisticated. That's exactly right. Because I never use this, I never, or we never hear it around people. That's right. Uh, well, uh, no, not never, but it's not, it's not common. If someone says unwittingly to me, and uh, I have to look like, huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yeah. Absolutely right. There but, was another. Uh, I think if I ask to a person, uh, Shane. But I think that if I ask for um, a question to the person who says, who use unwittingly, uh, in a conversation, may this person just make. Uh, answer to show how he can speak English, you know, to uh, be 
like to show, oh, I'm proud because I know how to speak English and <laughs> and use more confusing words. That's exactly uh, right. I hate those people. <laughs> no, you're, you're absolutely right. I mean, sometimes uh, it's, it's funny. It, it, you know, sometimes we need this type of word for the perfect situation, but many times people use these words to sound intelligent, and those people need to be put on a boat and sent to Australia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, that's true. <laughs> Remember, Shane, if you want to sound intelligent, you have to have a British accent. Oh, that's right. In America, we believe that all <laughs> British people are very intelligent because of their pronunciation. <laughs> Andre, Andre had a question, half an hour, half an hour. Do we need of? Yeah, we do. So, so many people do. Half. Oh, no, it's not question. It's half the loud and half an hour without of. <clears throat> I'm sorry, what? Somebody asked about half the loud. Uh, half the load, it's, right? Half the load, 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 yes. Load. It's mm. another idiom, half an hour. Yes, yes, that's exactly, that's exactly right. Uh, I do want to say, though, some people do say half of an hour. Very, very rare, mm. but it is possible. But yes, like Andre said, they're idiomatic. Half an hour, half the load, it's what we say, almost always. Um, and this is just very rare. Half of the load is actually very rare, very rare, although it is proper. You guys know English better than me. <laughs> I have a question, Shane. You know, I'm familiar with electricity bills, but not yeah. electric bills. Why is that? that it's a great uh, question. Electric bill or electricity bill? Um, once again, actually electricity bill is correct, but we always say electric bill. Um, yeah, and I'm looking, I don't, I have not received my electric bill, uh, but mm -hmm. I'm going to, but I'm curious as mm -hmm. to what my bill will say. So when I get my bill in a couple of days, uh, I'll tell you what mine says. Great, David, great. what does your bill say? Do you get the electric bill or electricity bill? I, we have the electric bill. Uh, but when when it's write down the paper, it could say electricity bill. But yeah. I think by you saying elect, electric bill, you can understand better. That is something that is coming by your wires, the electricity. Exactly. But I think if if, if I say oh oh uh, dear, uh, there is the electricity bill. I sound my more like mm, yes, sophisticated again, but. I think may think may think that that I'm talking about a box with the electricity inside. You know that is coming. Yeah, and yeah. They are, they are. I have a bill from that box or something That's like right. that. That is something that is is coming, but not by, by a wire or something. It is is present. That's Maybe right. Like Santa said, that, understand like that. Yeah, like Santa said, it's a bill where an electric current runs through. <laughs> you could uh -huh. die if you touch it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think, like David says, I think we do say electric bill all the time. But once again, I'm curious. I'm going to look at my next electric bill and see if they actually say electric or electricity. I'm curious. <laughs> you can get test, right? Uh, Shane, how do you pronounce this? Uh, this is uh, there's an uh, electric uh, device. It's T's, test T's. I don't. I'm not sure. You know that. Uh, Police officers used to a uh, taser, taser, taser. Yeah, but, but what, what, uh, what is it spelled? Uh, T A S E R. T A is T A S E R, like this, right? Yes, yes. Taser. Oh, oh jazz has a, an an electric bill means an electricity bill, which has a great figure of the money to be paid. That gives you an electric shock. <laughs> that you can get tased by the bill. That's right. The bill will tase you. 
<laughs> Don't tase me, bro. Don't tase oh. me, bro. David has his bill. Uh. Excellent. Yeah, sometimes. I broke my bill. What does it say, David? <laughs> mm. Your electric rate. Uh, I'm I'm reading your electric rate. I'm yeah. reading. There's more electricity supply supply detail. Your electricity <laughs> supplier. Mm -hmm. uh, Use electric, but it's more um, like to, to make you feel like uh, good. And when it's something serious, they use the word electricity here in the bill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like that. I like that definition. Electricity is used in the serious situation. You yes. must pay or you will have no electricity. Uh, but this is your electric bill. Just pay it. It's easy. <laughs> yes, yes. I think that that is the idea when the when the bills ran in New York. <laughs> yeah. I like it. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> Just... Guys, thank you very much. I hope that you have a. I hope that you had a good time. Uh, we'll be back again in two weeks. And uh, once again. You're very active today, very positive, great acting, great pronunciation, great questions. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank Have you, a good Shane. One, Have a nice. You had an evening that, there? No, no. It's for, I'm, I'm, I'm on uh, the West Bye Coast. Bye, everybody. So it's lunchtime for me. Oh. So have a good lunch then. Thank you. You have a great afternoon, David. Alex, you yeah. have a great time with your family. Andre, good find lunch. a woman. Edit, <laughs> I hope okay. that you have a, a great weekend. Gustavo, have a great time with your family. Jalia, it's always great to talk to you. Have a great time. Have a great evening. Uh, Jazz, what time is it, Jazz, for you? It's 1.15. Oh, my goodness. It's late. Jazz, you need to go to bed, too. Yep. Julia, have sweet dreams. Miguel, what time is it for you, Miguel? It's 8.43 p.m. Oh, it's early for you. It's all right, yeah. Yeah. Miguel, have an awesome evening. <laughs> Thank you, Shane. Same. Thank you so here. much, Shane. Thanks a lot, guys. Santa, have a great one. Thanks, everybody. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.